Vu here. I got a cup of cocoa and some new stamps, guys. Okie doke. So first thing is this fantastic pair here. Now these are uh, certified. And so um, they're number 12. They're a used horizontal interpane pair with a center line at the right. You can see that little line. Uh, with a New Orleans postmark, and they say it is genuine. I got these guys from R.A. Hauser, Rare Stamps. It says U.S. Worldwide Postage Stamps. Um, yeah, and uh, so let me pop these out real quick and show you guys what we're looking at here. I haven't even taken it out myself yet, so we'll get to see. Now, I could have got a single, but the seller made a description uh, that I really liked. I can't remember exactly what I paid. Actually, let me pull that up real quick. Okay, I paid uh, 1050 bucks for this pair. <laughs> so, boy, I just can't help it. I look at those blank spaces in this album, and I just want to fill them. So, yeah, he says, um, as far as his description, he said... Fresh used stamp with a PF cert. Uh, he said it can be broken up. It can be broken up into a four margin single and a corner margin single. He says I prefer to keep them as a pair. Uh, he's like I've added a bunch of stuff to my stamp collection since I was a kid. Uh, back in the days, you could just go to stamp shows and look at through counter bo counter books, uh, and you could pick out ideal stamps for him. Anyway, so this is all kind of just ended up with him having a huge amount of stamps, and he's selling some. And um, I like the de description from the seller. I seem to like the seller, and I, I definitely like these this beautiful horizontal pair of stamps. Um, it really is looking good. Um, and <clears throat> for, easy, for those of you who don't know, um, the margins on older classic stamps, kind of older stamps in general, since they had to cut them out of the sheets, uh, since they weren't perforated back then uh, you're looking for bigger margins you would be just about as hard pressed as anything to find you know a whole a whole sheet of these stamps anywhere these days I mean it's just super rare just to find an individual one let alone an entire sheet and so to have a pair uh, that hasn't been separated you can actually see how small the original separation the margin is between the two stamps there's not much there. You know, no wonder most of these old stamps, when they get cut, that the margins are not perfectly centered. It's a pretty small margin in between them to begin with. Alrighty, for this next one, I decided to adorn my gloves because I decided to buy a cover. So, this actual spot will remain blank in my album, but I'm just going to put a little on cover under the stamp and put an arrow so everybody knows that. Uh, so, this is the number two and uh, it's on a used letter uh, says it has about three and a half margins it's in pretty fresh condition now I purchased this on hip stamp from a gentleman named raw RAH stamp now this one is not certified but um, the seller has like an 11,000 rating with a hundred percent he's been selling since 09 and uh, so anyway I I think he's a pretty legitimate seller, and I'm try, I trusted him. So I didn't get this one certified. Um, I still could if I wanted, but <clears throat> anyways, uh, I actually think it is legitimate. And um, it's a U.S. It's a number two. It's from 1847, and um, got a beautiful New York uh, post mark there, and then a beautiful red grid cancel on this guy. Uh, really looks pretty good. Uh, the three and a half margins that he's talking about is. You might be able to notice this top right, the line of the margin kind of disappears. So you got a little cut off there at the top. But uh, the other three margins are absolutely perfect. I mean, they look great. And it was just a beautiful cancel, vibrant, wonderful color. I mean, these are rare. These are scarce. This is a nice stamp. I know the top margin is not perfect, but darn it, it's pretty close. Um, and I just. I wanted to uh, get some things on a cover. This one, will, I'm going to put it sideways in the album on the next page, or the page next to the uh, 
the first couple stamps uh, just to fill up that blank space and um, I thought it'd be cool to have it on a cover so anyway let me open this well let me show you the back this is like deja vu of the of my Italian Papal States collection they were all like this delicate old folded in definitely want to be gentle with this guy because I do not want to hurt a single thing I figured I'd open it up just so that you guys can see just for the heck of it so there you go beautiful handwriting super cool obviously a fountain pen of some sort this is August 6th 1830 is what it looks like but that can't be right must be 50 1850 and uh, so yeah anyway pr pretty cool um, keeper keeper protected and in good shape I'm gonna find some way to mount this in my album uh, but mm, this was let's see here it was over a grand uh, so 1020 bucks is what I spent for this cover so another owie that's expensive it hurts <laughs> but I've got it I've got a number two so I got this uh, from eBay then I got this from a, a seller named GS or, or G squared seven so this uh, let's see it was 311 with shipping 335 so this is number 13 he does say it's scarce it's a type one and let me see if I can pop this guy out here take a look at it I actually I haven't even taken these out yet I haven't looked at them either so as I look at this guy um maybe the top margin leaves a little bit to be desired um, does have a red ink cancel on there some smudges on the back and whatnot since it is used not bad um, yeah I don't think it's like a, a horrible condition or anything um, this is just another one where I, I uh, pretty much all of these I end up just compromising you know if I could have my way it would be mint post office fresh I would have spent five grand on it you know and blah 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 and I'd have a million dollar album and everything's perfect and blah 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 can't afford that so uh, yeah, he said it's used, rich color, fine, very fine, with a very light red cancel. Uh, he says on the gum side, what it has is called foxing. Now I've never heard that term in philately, foxing, but uh, interesting. There's some foxing going on here, guys. Uh, says he doesn't consider that a fault or an imperfection. He just he just says that there are no faults or imperfections he just says that it, there is some foxing uh, so that was pretty much it um, yeah he didn't really have much else to say about it just a nice number 13 so I'll go ahead and pop that guy in the album as well just trying to fill them spots you know so next next up uh, okay well, so there's gonna be this so these are some of the fancy cancels they came in uh, of uh, some of some well, actually this might be most let's say of the fancies that I ordered there's still some coming for sure oh no I'm about to show you the rest of them next so yeah we're about to look at most of the fancy cancels <laughs> that I had ordered now this is a pretty cool block you know block grid or something whatever you call it that one's neat uh, and then uh, this is actually going to be a series of these are all um, letters, you know, K. This one's upside down, but it's a C. And we have a D. And I think they call these negative cancels. Negative quote unquote cancels because um, it's like mainly black ink, and then you've got uh, just kind of a. Um, I don't know how to say it. A lack of ink in the center makes it a negative cancel as opposed to. Um, usually the ink would be the, the actual letter 
and the space around it would be no ink. So whatever, that was a horrible description, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so anyway, that's a negative D. Uh, see, this, I don't know if this is called a negative because it's not really like the other one, but there's an E, so this is you know, P. And these are all different people, you know, uh, different postmasters that cancel these things. They have their court cancels or whatever, and uh, they etch out whatever design or whatever they want in the court. And uh, there are books I've been learning that you can go and find. And they've documented all the fancy cancels that all the different postmasters used. Sometimes you can find a fancy cancel that isn't listed and you say, well, then it must be fake. Because they're all documented. That's an S. And, um, so like every single one of these, supposedly, I should be able to actually go look up and verify the postmaster uh, that canceled these or whatever, so... At least that's the idea that I've um, come up with. Is, uh, it seems to be there's a whole catalog for fancy cancels. There's an F. Okay, so this is a 2 or an S. Oh, it must be an S. No, 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 it's a backwards S. Either way I put it. So maybe a 2 on that one. I'm not sure. This should be an R. So a nice little stack of fancy cancels there. I figured I'd just make a nice series, the different letters, and then I really do like this bar, or this uh, block cancel, that's pretty cool. So let's look at some more. Oh, by the way, before I move on, I bought these on hip stamp from a seller called Rich, R-I-C-H, 1944. Now this guy has 73,000 rating on hip stamp, so he sold a lot. Um, and these were all relatively cheap, three, four, five dollars a piece. And this gentleman, I can tell you this guy specifically, has just a massive buttload of these kinds of fancy cancels. So I probably didn't even make a dent in his store by buying all of these. Now I spent fifty-two fifty for all of these. And um, so not horrible. Um, I mean, that's a fair bit of stamps. They're all in pretty good shape. And they're nice cancels. Um, even the block cancel, those little squares, that was just four bucks. Uh, so pretty cool. I mean, you can definitely get a, a whole range of fancy cancels from this gentleman. Uh, and I do recommend him. Um, he was pretty quick. And I thought actually when I first got it, he had missed one or two that I had ordered. But I just had to go through it very carefully. And nope, he got all the stamps I ordered. <laughs> and uh, he did well. So I recommend him. Okay, so we're going to kind of finish this off with a big old 13 stamp order that I placed from the American Philatelic Society at their stamp store. I really do want to support the APS. I love the APS. I love the way they do it. I love their free shipping. It's fast and the next business day. Um, that's a part of buying stamps for me, which isn't very important, but I'm kind of about like that about everything. You know, I don't want to purchase something that I'm really excited about and then wait three weeks for it to show up. That sucks. I hate that. So I, I love that the APS stresses that they ship things quickly. Uh, and um, so I, I like that about them. Anything you order, it's like free, like free next day shipping or something. Um, or they ship it the next day for free and it's fast shipping. So anyway, I love that. So a slew of stamps all together I spent 146. Uh, they seem to range from pretty early like number 65 onward to in the 200s and stuff. So well return and expertizing extensions instructions. Pretty cool. You know, APS is very legitimate. They're established. It's, it's just a nice thing. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing, more fancy cancels. Oh, that's right. I may have bought 13 items, but there were several stamps in a few of them, so there's way more than 13 stamps. Alexa, light one off. Thank okay. you. Okay, so uh, five great fancy cancels from the 1870s. Uh, it says a Scott catalog number 117 on these guys. Yeah, they're definitely pretty. And so these were 20 bucks for all five. 
Very cool. Just different variations on this kind of uh, cancel here. This one looks like a fan blade. That's pretty cool. Oh man, I mean all of these are cool. Look at this. I wish I could see the whole one. And they'll they'll have like the whole cancel of this, but it'll be like 60 bucks or 100 bucks. And it's like, mm, yeah, I just didn't want to pop that much. I'm just trying to get basically the best bang for my buck, you know, from what I, ha what I see that they have. And so those are pretty nice. Um, okay, next. Oh yeah, I like this guy. So I spent mm, 10 bucks. Uh, on this fancy cancel, Scott number 186. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's got a, like a radial circle with a with a star or a diamond shape in the middle, perhaps, and then little triangles. It was pretty cool, man. I, I that's a very nice looking uh, fancy cancel to me. I think that's great. So really happy with that guy. Ten bucks. Also, if you guys don't know about the APS, um, I'm pretty sure anybody can shop from their store, I think. Uh, but if you are an actual APS member, then you do get additional discounts on pretty much every single listing, which is killer. Okay, well, here's a whole bunch. Um, used hinge, I spent $12 for this. They didn't write a Scott number, so I don't know which number, but it says rosettes and stars. Fancy cancels I guess it's kind of weird to see how they wrote fancy uh, CXLS cancels I guess. nice overall condition thanks for looking oh you're welcome thanks for selling yeah these are cool look at all these different fancy cancels man they look similar but they are different <laughs> so yeah, I'll give you a sec there to kind of soak them all in. Look at this guy up at the top here. Yeah, these are very cool. These two actually look quite similar, but they're different size. This one's clearly smaller. So yeah, this is just cool. Just they're they're neat. This is why I like fancy cancels. They're all a little different, you know. A little personality to these cancels. I find that cool. So I like this. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's 14 stamps here <laughs> for 12 bucks. Not bad. <laughs> it, you know, they're all in pretty good shape. I mean, little, I don't know, a little corner perf damage, whatever. But overall, these are in great shape. So I'm very happy with these. Super cool. And next. Okay, so this is a Columbus issue. Number 233 has pencil on the back. It's the thin. By the way, um, I just learned, I, th I thought thin might might be referring to the perforations, but that's not correct. Um, thin actually means like if the, uh, there actually is a thin spot in the paper. So let's say when they soaked it off of whatever piece of paper it was on, if a small piece of the stamp stayed adhered to the paper and they peeled it off, then it would have a thin spot on the back where it just the paper thickness wasn't the same. Uh, a little, a little bit stayed on the original paper it was applied to or whatever, and that's a thin. So, um, yeah, nothing to do with the perfs. Anyway, this is a fancy star, and it's called purple cancel. Look at that guy. Kind of faint. It is a light cancel, but it's very pretty. Purple star. How about that? Okie dokie. I think I'm going to drop these gloves. I don't have to have them. Make things a little quicker. Okay, no, it's got over 85. Oh, it's a Maltese cross. Check that out. So, 1873, 3 cent Washington. Say CBN. Mm. I'm not sure what the CBN means. Rose red. Attractive. Oh, it's number 085. Sorry, it's official. This is actually War Department. Uh, so yeah, anyway, rose red. It says attractive and well-centered. Fen small margin faults. No tears. I just don't know all their terms. What the hell is Fen? F-E-N? Fen? 
I'm just not sure. Hmm. Margin faults. Okay. No tears or weakness. Fancy cancels. Magenta Maltese Cross. They say in parentheses Skinner. E N O C R M 241869. Hmm. I just don't know what they're talking about, but. Pretty cool, huh? So, uh, my first Maltese cross anything. As far as I know. As many of you may know, the Maltese cross goes all the way back to the very first U.S. or uh, very first postage stamp in history from uh, Great Britain. But that one's just a variation. So, let's see here. Five dollars for this little guy. This looks like a ladies cover, and it is. So this is a fancy cancel ladies envelope, they say. Uh, with Scott number 65. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have uh, uh, like a, a pretty good bit of 60, number 65, 64. Um, I even bought some to compare just the color of them. And uh, so anyway, this being 65, it's on a pretty nice looking ladies cover. I don't think I'm going to even attempt to open it up or anything. I doubt there's anything really to see in there. I think it's just a little tiny cover. Little tiny ladies cover. Pretty cool. It's a really nice fancy cancel. New York uh, post cancel on there. Oh, the fancy cancel is twice, so you can kind of. Same with the New York uh, town cancel there, whatever. <laughs> Pretty cool. I mean, five bucks? Yeah. I'll, I'll take that. This is great. Uh, this will go right in my album. Just another little space filler. Beautiful. So very pleased with that. Very fairly priced in my opinion too. So this one, uh, $35. But um, well this is you know, so it's got number 153. It says well centered fancy cancel. Uh, I think it could be a little bit more well centered if you ask me, but I think it's pretty well centered. And um, I guess that's like the Star of David. Uh, I thought that was cool. Definitely didn't have any fancy cancel like that. This is a 24 cent stamp, pretty faded, um, but the $35 for this stamp is more than likely because of this cancel, not the condition of the stamp. But very, very cool fancy cancel. I, I like that when I saw it and was like, oh, I gotta have that. <laughs> I want it. <clears throat> okay, so I love this one too. Um... Let's slip that out of there. Some kind of dog hair in there. Something weird. Okay, so this is Scott number 206. And um, it says, Seven Bar Purple Cancel. Fancy Cancel. It says, Could the note have been one and three quarter cents? Mail was carried over a toll bridge. Oh, weird. I didn't catch all that before I bought this. Oh, this was $9. Went over a toll bridge. No kidding. That is super duper cool. Um, huh. I didn't catch that. I thought Toll House California would have... Uh, it's just like a place in California, but an actual toll bridge. Weird. News to me, huh? <laughs> well, pretty nice looking. I like it. I like the purple as well. I like the cancel. I like everything about it. The stamps. Okay, it's great. All right. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love that thing. All right. Uh, oh, cool. So my second Maltese cross, uh, seven fifty. I paid for this number two oh six. Got a fancy cancel with a Maltese cross. Pretty straightforward. Very nice. Almost complete uh, cancel there. It's just barely missing a line on the left. But that's cool. What do we got next here? Okay, uh, this is another, more. Uh, number 206 is uh, with fancy cancels. I paid $12 for these fancy cancels. Pretty cool. See, this is pretty similar to the other ones we were looking at, but uh, 
the V's are almost touching instead of being spaced out. So there's slight differences in these cancels. And this guy is definitely just, um, yeah, I, I don't have any that are quite like that. Pretty cool. Um, I like it. Next up, oh, another cover. Okay, this one was cheap, man. Eight bucks. Uh, number 158 with question marks. It says Mary Mac, Massachusetts. December 4th, 1880 something. All oh, right, you can't really see. It says 188, and then it's just a smudge. It says with a star and a circle. Fancy cancel. Very nice overall condition. Thanks for looking. Mm -hmm. That is a nice cancel. Nice, you know, pretty clear postmark too. Except too bad you can't see the year as well as you would hope. But um, uh, this is very nice. Pretty cool. That'll end up in my album as well. I'm not trying to put too many covers because they take up so much space. This isn't really a cover album, but I bought a couple of nice albums that you guys may have seen the videos before. Um, they were fairly expensive from Atfell Bomb. And uh, every now and then they poke a cover in there, and I thought that was kind of cool. So I like I like to mix it up a little. Oh, cool. Another, <laughs> another cover. Oh, wow. That's all we got left is covers. Like I said, I went cover crazy. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is... Number 720, Fancy Cancel slash Event Cover. It says, uh, Three Cent Washington, Definitive, Franking, a Washington Bicentennial Celebration Cover with a Henton, Illinois, Washington, Fancy Cancel. So, I just thought this one was pretty cool. I mean, it was $16. I don't remember if I remember that Ben there being there, but whatever. Um, mainly the reason I got it, I mean, it's just a good looking cover, right? But yeah, I love the Washington head cancel on the Washington stamp. And then that big giant, um, oh my gosh. What do you call that? I'm drawing a blank on what those are called, guys. Cache, Jesus. Well, you know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I, I really like it. I think it's a good looking cover. I, I just have an affinity for this one, so I bought it. So, that's really the story with that. On to the last item for this video. Uh, this is a, another number 65. Uh, so it has a circular date stamp for Richmond, Virginia. It has a star fancy cancel. This has a flap that's torn. I guess the flap for the envelope is torn off. Um, but yeah, so this is all, you know, the other one, I don't know if the other one was considered a real fancy cancel. Did they say that? Well, they say, they say it has a fancy cancel, so, okay. I thought it was kind of fancy. Alright, so this, um, is my final fancy, fancy cancel. I think it's a beautiful star. Super cool. Um, seven fifty, right? Seven dollars and fifty cents. You know, I, I, there really are some things on there that I think are just outstandingly, fairly priced. So, cool. Just another addition to my collection. Um, so that was it for this haul here. Uh, that was pretty expensive. Those first two were definitely almost painfully expensive. Um, it's funny to still be buying stamps when I'm literally still trying to pay off the stamps I bought a year ago. <laughs> So, anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at these guys. I love these stamps. I love stamp collecting. This is all pretty fun stuff for me. And I, the joy of this is, you know, even though I have to painfully pay for it over time, um, I get to put all this stuff in my album. And I, it's going to be an album I'm going to be proud of. Um, I'll get to pass on to somebody someday unless I horribly uh, need money and I have to sell it, which would just break my heart. Um, considering all of the work that I've put into these Mystic albums, dear lord, I can't even tell you guys at this point how many hundreds of hours I've put building these four different Mystic albums. If it was one album, it wouldn't be such a big deal, but trying to fill out four albums, including all the blank spaces, 
Oh yeah, yay. Craziness. Um, just so much actual time it takes. So, and then, you know, when I'm trying to fill out these early pages, oh, it's so expensive. Uh, like, I've been, I, I was really let down. I, I've been trying to get this number 16 stamp in my Mystic albums. And I finally found uh, a good buy, and I was seven hundred dollars for a number sixteen on a little cover. And um, unfortunately, I, I bought bought and paid for it, and I guess the guy couldn't find it. And so I'm like, oh man, he canceled the order. So I just can't get this number sixteen to save my life here. If I just get number sixteen, I'll complete the page. Is why I wanted it so bad, just to have that page filled out, but. You know, there's just patience, give it time. Um, some things work out, some things don't. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you and I appreciate your support. Um, if you guys like these videos, please feel free to like and subscribe. It helps me out. And um, this is not the last of stuff that I've ordered. I was pretty bad boy. Again, uh, I want to say Friday, <laughs> which is two days ago. So, there's still more coming in the mail, um, and um, so I'll make a little video coming up uh, when I receive the rest of my stuff, and then, uh, like I said, I'm running out of stuff to put in my Mystic album, I'm running out of money, at some point I'm just going to be kind of done with them for the time being, and I'll make a video, and you guys will get to see, uh, so take care, appreciate it everybody, be well, and goodbye.